Oh, Colin. <laughs> Jennifer. And today, our special guest today is Aji Gaika. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Be Alive. So the first question is, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Aji Gaita, like you said. Um, I am from Pawtucket. I went to Baldwin. I went to Slater. I graduated from Shea in 07. So I have my degree in political science and econ from Temple University. I've substituted here around the city and currently I'm a college access advisor. What issue is very important? Really, all the issues concerning our youth is very important to me. Um, just the other day, someone commented on my Facebook about how maybe they think I should run for school committee because I really care about you guys that much, and I do. But you know, it's more than just what happens in the school. It's about what's happening also in the city, right? It's about how much access do you guys have to internship opportunities. It's about are your families safe and do they feel like they can grow and, and have access to resources in the city? You know, so affordable housing, education, those are primarily my two main focuses. What do you usually do in Kentucky? When I want to like enjoy myself with my family, I have two kids and a husband. So we usually go to Slater Park. Um, my husband will be like, oh, you guys, you guys want to go to Lincoln Woods? I'm like, no. Because <laughs> Slater Park is down the street. And yeah. It's great. I love Slater Park, like actually. Me too. I love Slater Park. Honestly, um, I, I used to work as a camp, camp counselor at Slater Park, so my daughter's going to camp right now there, and I'm like so excited about it. Oh my god, you're following in my footsteps. So this is Jamie Segui Rodriguez, and can you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I am a longtime Pawtucket resident. I have two daughters one who's going to be 12 next year and a five-year-old. I have a master's in community development. I'm one of the co-founders of PLEA, Parents Leading for Educational Equity, and I'm running for City Council in Ward 5. So tell us about your platform. Like, What do you love most about your platform? What I love most about my platform is having the ability to kind of affect change within like education for like youth, um, you know, potentially like future youth programming and having like a stake in affordable housing and ensuring that families can continue to like give back to the communities that they've already given so much to. What's the best restaurant you to in Pawtucket? A lot of people do know about it and they do go here, but I love Rosa's. Rosa's Kitchen, so good. They have like the best calamari ever. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite spot. Hi, my name is Collins. This is Tashier. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am 52. I am a grandmother of seven, and I have three adult children. I'm from Boston originally. I've been here for 18 years in Pawtucket and haven't moved from that address that I've been at that apartment. Um, I'm a mental health professional, and so I work at the prison system. I work with homeless. Um, homeless veterans in Boston too. So primarily homeless, substance abuse, mental health. That's me. That's what I work with. That's my passion. What is your favorite thing about your platform? Basically, the homeless. Um, like I said, I've worked with the homeless here in Pawtucket. I was working at Access Rhode Island that got closed. But we have homeless people living in camps by the river. And then they congregate downtown Pawtucket um, during the daytime. And we only have one shelter here that's only open in the wintertime. So that bothers me, that we could be doing more for the homeless um, in terms of housing, jobs, just getting them ready for, to live just like us. Mm -hmm. You know, why should people be homeless in a country where we have a lot of resources? It does not make sense. I know you're also very interested in helping formerly incarcerated people that are in jail, so can you talk a bit about that as well? So, because of my children, <laughs> my two sons, um, and all the other youth that I encountered, um, their friends, and then now working in the prison system, I'm like, what way can I, even though I'm older, but what way can I kind of address this issue of going into prison in the first place? Um, we already know that they don't have anything to do when they're outside. Even my sons, they didn't have anything to do um, in this, you know, in this city, and that kind of got them into trouble. So I'm trying to divert that by creating an agriculture program and a small business program. That way they can build their own ventures, get them out of that cycle of going back inside. What's your favorite animal and why? Cats. 
Um, I've had four cats, three have died, I still have one baby cat, call her, that's her name, baby cat. Um, <laughs> and she gets along with my pet, who's called Butch, so I would say cat of the cats because they're, they're independent. Right. This is Alexis, uh, tell me about yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Alexis. I'm a millennial running for office, a queer Jewish millennial running for office in Pawtucket. I'm 33 years old. I uh, worked in the technology field for a really long time, went to school for theater. What legacy do you want to leave for your big platform? I think I'm the furthest over in terms of the drastic steps we need to take for climate change. I'm doing a challenge in the month of August. I'm gonna collect all the waste that I create and I'm gonna try to make it as little as possible, but I'm gonna put my own self like in the spotlight. So I hope my legacy is that like people will kind of come on board with me and like challenge themselves too. That's the only way we're gonna do it. More, more trash cans and more trucks aren't gonna solve that problem. So I heard you like ASMR. Can you tell me about that? I do. I love ASMR. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, they like scraping noise. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know why. So I like the I like the soft questions. <laughs> <laughs>